Monaco, leg six. The Longines Global Champions Tour lands in the extraordinary bay of Port Ercoule in Monaco. This sparkling portside arena hosted one of the most prestigious events in the world, the Formula One of show jumping, with the best riders and horses on earth. An absolutely stunning venue, enclosed between the elegant cafes along the marina and the luxury yachts moored nearby, overlooked by the magnificent palace of the Prince Albert of Monaco. Only two weeks after the rendezvous in Cannes, where the world's number one rider, Scott Brash, claimed an electrifying victory with a heart-stopping jump-off, the circuit is back to highlight sport at its maximum level. 46 riders were ready to fly over the fences in the first round, ready to stage their fierce battle on the course designed by Luc Musette. In the smallest arena of the whole circuit, there is no room for mistakes. Ten combinations finished clear, qualifying for the second round. The best eight riders, with four penalties, got their ticket too. As the sun set over the harbour, the start of the second round of the Longines Global Champions Tour Grand Prix du Prince de Monaco was hailed by the huge cheering crowd. The second round proved extremely selective. Only after the fifth rider, Emanuele Guardiano, was there a clear round, taking him up the ranking but not into the jump off because of the four penalties in his first round. The same was true for the French rider, Kevin Stout. Cameron Handley had a near miss, who finished clear but got one penalty for going over the time and no qualification. In the end, only two of the 18 riders finished clear and won a place in the jump off. Rolf Joram Benson with Kazal Ask from Sweden and Basim Hassan Mohammed from Qatar with Victoria. The first to enter into the arena was the Swedish rider who elegantly cleared the big fences of the jump off. He was fast but not enough. Rolf, leave it up. Well, that's going to be difficult enough to beat because two world-class turns there. Then it was the turn of the Qatari rider who capitalized on the explosive power of his horse to literally fly over the obstacles without any faults. And fast he was indeed. Will it come off? Will it come off? Good man. Now Gallop. He's very near, got him, you know. He's got him. He has got him! Oh. <laughs> oh, well! What a man! What a turn back to the vertical. Seventy-seven hundredths of a second less than his competitor. The spectacular result marks a history for the Longines Global Champions Tour. He is the first Qatari rider ever to win an LGCT Grand Prix. The ranking of the championship race has dramatically changed, but not at the top. Edwina Tops Alexander remains in first position with 146 points, but the gap between the second and the third rider has narrowed drastically. Rolf Joram Benson, with 126 points, climbs up the ranking, followed by Bassem Hassan Mohammed, with only one point separating them. The Monaco round revamps the challenge in the LGCT ranking. Now the focus will be on the sensational new leg in Paris by the Eiffel Tower next week where anything can happen. <laughs>